Hey, it's Pasty Prime here, and welcome back to Baldur's Gate 3. We're continuing our first playthrough of the game, and we are somewhere. We are in the waning. We're in the waning moon. And, uh, there's people here, but I can't remember exactly why or what we're doing. Uh, I guess we gotta go Blighted Troubadour. I mean, there's... Hmm, there's a plaque. Halflings and gnomes order here. Okay, what's the book? Pain spree. Gather your pack, capture a gnome one by one. Your chums gloat how to best maim the gnome. In the alphabetical order, oh, alphabetical order starting with A, come up short, take a drink, last chum standing gets to kill the gnome. Example, arrow to the bollocks, break its shins, club its head with the broken shins. Stoned, get a stone, invade an inn, kill everyone there. Fill ten tankards with ale, arrange them in a triangle on each side of a table. Long ways, you fool. Or, arrange them first and fill them. I don't care. Put half your chums at one side, half at the other. Take turns throwing the stone at the opposite tankards, get it in, drink it dry. Ten empty cups, your team loses. Winning team gets to yank a single claw of their choice out of the loser's feet. Uh, deal a drink. Attack a village with your pack. Keep killing till a chum loots a deck of cards. Choose a dealer, I don't care how, shortest tail, ugliest feet, something like that chum on their right gets two chances to guess the card on top and dealer chum says if it's higher or lower dealer chum chugs twice if the first try is right and chugs once if the second try is right if the guess chum fails they chug the difference between the final guess and the card if your last guess is a four and the card is a nine you take five chugs it's basic math mathematics. New chum dealer when the last one falls. Two guest chums. Last one standing tortures the village. Okay. Well, that's how you play those games. Need to find a way forward. Okay. Send that to camp. There's that last one. I've been peeping. Say hey for the public. Something's on my mind. The payday gold in my pouch is clinking. Say hey for the pub. A single fault is what I'm thinking. Say hey for the pub. <laughs> is that it? Okay. Well, I'm not going to harass you if that's all you do. Okay, what? How did we? I forgot now. We even got in here and what I'm looking for. I don't know you. Perhaps I forgot you. Perhaps. That's a bit weird.
Uh, what is it that you're serving? Only the best. Oblivion and beyond. Go on. Cheers. Bottoms up. Go next. This guy looks like he had a long, long, long night. Might be best to keep him happy for now. Ooh, let's save in case this turns us into some sort of freak. Pick up Leaning the tanker. In, you can see how the creature's skin barely holds it together. The bulge of its belly is on the cusp of bursting wide open. He looks set to burst, and will probably be left hip deep in his juices. Go on, freak! Make it drink! Be drunk! You and I both! To our good health! Ooh. I don't know. Let's see what happens. Fourteen. The liquid burns your throat as you swallow, but otherwise you feel no ill effects. Jeez, okay. From aboard a mind flayer vessel, I've witnessed the hells themselves. I gazed on nature's bounties in a verdant grove of druids. I've seen the goblins' vile rituals with my own eyes. Silver tongued devil bade me feast in his lavishly appointed banquet hall. I ascended a great tower infused with the most powerful of magic. I explored a lost fortress buried deep in the underdark's bowels. shot so let's go i mean we've got four inspiration oh for god's sakes it's even worse one more no it was not meant to be Yeah. 
No. This is 18. This is not going to happen. Okay, um, doo -doo 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 -doo. who are we? Kelly. Uh, slashing dummy is nullified. That's not good. Uh, that impacts most of Kalik's stuff. Um, we can't really attack straight on. say Oh, one HP.
Incoming. Shall we cut and run? Into piercing damage. Damn it, should use the thing. Mm. Okay. I guess we have to go, animal. That'll get two of them. special thing to always get one HP over there. Or is it just coincidence? I think we were in um, opportunity attack round. Okay. Well, you missed anyway, so. Let's turn someone inside out. Now. Yeah, I thought that was the case. Uh, all right, hang on. What do you got? No, that's all fine. Well, I guess since you're standing against me, we will, uh, do that. Lovely. Hang on a second. So he's numb, uh, threatened, moderately inebriated. 
Burning reflux. Fire damage has changed the nature of this bold special brew. Careful, adding additional elemental flavors might make the mixture worse. Okay, I don't know what that actually means to him, but it's clearly not looking the greatest. Oh, did I? Didn't change any of these, did it? Nope. I wonder if this is worth the cost. Now, I'm assuming this will do nothing. I don't think that did anything either. That's bludgeoning. And our normal attack. He's slashing, which I'm pretty sure he's immune to. anyway so either way uh, there's no way to tell where would you come from Are you always there attack. That's bludgeoning. Okay. Don't understand. Can't get away. That's not going to do anything. When you miss an attack, deal one blood damage anyway. Yeah, that's the point. It didn't make a difference. Time. 
miss this. Might hurt. Oh, we can't do that anyway. Vulnerable with that. Is that what made him vulnerable? Never a dull moment. <laughs> no. He blacked out. Does that mean he's defenseless? Well, that was pretty good. 20. Ah, uh, geez. Healing creature you can see. I mean, we could do that. That would bring him back to life. Survival is all that matters. Okay, now with him out, is he vulnerable now? Seems to be. No time for mercy. Okay, there were some big hits. Get in there as well while he's out. Down the hatch. The dance macabre. 
Well, I might as well always go. Oh, oh, get in there. Oh, that's right, you were dead. Um. Okay, I guess you could come Stick up here. Back. It's going to be a problem. Bludgeoning. It's not going to make any difference if it's bludgeoning. Okay, we're still hitting him. Damaged, but we're all alive. We did that chest up there, didn't we? Very well. Um, how are we going? So we could do a short rest. Still save first. Um, do we come out of animal form? Planks. What's hiding here? That bomb and thing. And okay, let's have a look at this. What is this? Madeline's ledger. The words for the attention of Dark Justicia Natasha are written across the top of every page. This is an excerpt 
from the last page. Morning, day 15. Seisman Nowak said Ketherick wouldn't hold onto Moonrise Towers for long at this rate. Evening, day 18. Imani Aitaniki Kini claimed it was unfair that the Thorms had the cushiest jobs. Night, day 22. Mark Jacobs, uh, Benjamin Blanchett made jokes about the Thorms, especially Lord Ketherick. Said he was a misery guts, a weeping nutsack, and discussed exactly how his wife would have liked it. I know what Mark and Ben said was just plain awful, Lady Natasha, uh, but they're some of my best friends and I've never heard such talk out of them. They're upset over their wages being cut and were the drunkest I'd ever seen by midnight. I know it looks bad. But hand over heart, you've never met two gents more devoted to Our Lady, I swear it. A different, more elegant script appears beneath it. Our Lady of Loss would be proud of you, Madeline. Do not worry about Mark and Benjamin. Myself and your two gents are simply going to have a little chat. I promise. So that's all that's in there. Oh, I had to pick that up to get some XP. I'll take that. Okay, so there's a door there. that I had clicked somewhere I didn't oh maybe I had but it wasn't deliberate we will look at that door later just check around here Was that noise? Okay, I need to go back down. I just wanted to have a look here, see where that went. message board something on missing rascal brown puppy jagoda black and white cat zola that's a lot of missing pets
Damn it. Can I click where I want to click sometimes? Why am I here? It's like you're dead creatures. Uh, right, what was around here? Back up to the top. Oh, there is a book up there. Gotta check all this. Sure, I've done this, but I'll check it. Double check it. Yep. Barred from entry. The following ex customers are unwelcome. Do not let them in, even should they beg, especially should they beg. Barton Doherty, human, chug and run. Adam Smythe, a. Uh, Lassivious, less or whatever behavior, also known as the pickle incident. Uh, Gary Gothform, she knows what she did. <laughs> well, she's dead now. Coven Ort, tall dwarf, exceedingly boring. Sarah B, short half elf, vomited on the waiter purposefully. Unknown elf, pale skin, snide mouth, referring to Master Distiller as the porcupine. What? Poor sign. Poor sign. Publican. Rochelle Quark. Halfling. Groin punching. Yon Von Don. Suspected alias. Grotesquely tall human. Underpants on head. Alright. Let's go check out... Check out that door. Wait, I just heard something. He's still making noises. Even though he's dead. Where did you read that blackboard? Welcome to the waning moon. To lifelong friends, both old and new. Okay, where's that door? Hopefully that key opens it. Sure does. gloves. When the wearer deals acid damage, they also inflict noxious fumes upon the target.
research notes. They describe a powerful venom extracted from a rare purple worm. Distiller Thizzable Thorn sought to create a fatal poison using the worm's gullet. He procured several parts of a worm gullet, but rinsed one in error. The poison he brewed was noxious, but not fatal. Visible devoted months to formulating a deadly poison with the remaining ingredients, without success. After exhaustive experimentation, he was able to make a near-deadly extract from the glands. But to complete his poison, Thizzable required one last ingredient, the petals of a corpse rose. The book's index reveals corpse roses may grow near tombs, mausoleums, and particularly redolent cadavers. Thizzable enlisted a courier from Baldur's Gate to obtain corpse rose petals and other ingredients and deliver them to a covert location. Unfortunately, a deep purple stain darkens the final page, obscuring the parcel's destination. Oh my god. Really? Come on. Oh, you can't give me any luck, can you? Oh man, it's the last one. Your mind separates the black from the blue revealing the stash's location. You mark your map as a reminder. With the corpse rose petals the package contains, you might create Thizzabald's purple worm poison. Mm-hmm. So what? That's in here. Poison. Uh, what do poisons go under? There it is, it's under toxin, toxin, sorry, what, coatings. So we need that, uh, salts of the corp rose, any suspension, a truly despicable poison devised from an all, uh, corpse's rose, bullet. okay.
The way he moves deliveries are recorded here in a careful hand. The rear pages, however, are devoted to the distiller's personal reflections. 10. Tarshak. Father Ketherick's reach begins to extend beyond Wraithwind's borders. The Thorms are but collectors, collectors of coin, glory, blood, and more yet. I, however, collected that which holds the most value, information. The Mason caught my eye, straight are the, his steps, and faithful are his words, for as long as he as drink does not touch his tongue. Two drops of Blackfire whiskey, and he sings his heart's true tune. He calls father a tyrant, a coward, a traitor. He beseeches the moon maiden to shine upon him once more. Dangerous words. I have told father he will surely silence the mason and make him an example. Meanwhile, the mason draws his heresy. It is all I can do not to mock him to his very face. 6. Flame Rule. My own methods used against me. The ale she fed me was poisoned, and by my own hand, my truth serum was all too effective. I profess the lot, the poison drinks, malice, treatments, the interrogations, all of it. She means to reveal our schemes to the Baldur's Gate authorities. Unless, of course, I grace her palm with more gold than a Geringoth could muster father would have my head if he knew I've, or worse yet donate me to malice such is my good fortune that I possess all manner of barrels uh, she could make a perfect fit 23 a alliance the harpers came too close they poisoned father Ketherick himself yet he professes no ill effects malice insists it's a fluke Doctor he may be, but he is no less a fool for it. Father has achieved that of which I can only dream immort immortality. I have long suspected I can guess Father's purpose, but I cannot fathom the means. Uh, where did I grab that from? Mm-hmm. Okay. Okay, I am picking you. How oh, for a skeleton key? Punch drunk bastard. Tipple is rage. While you were drunk, you have advantage on a thing. Oh, we're not going to be using that. On serpent venom toxin. Okay. Would you like to know something interesting? If you mix suspension of. Uh, sorry. If you mix suspension of venomous fang. With virtual of Loth's candle, any vitriol will do. It comes, out comes a poison, drip, drip, drip. When in doubt with alchemy, when in need of ecstasy, with my throat clicks with scream, drip, drip, drip is what I dream. It did not work the platinum scale plan, did not work, and I hurt so badly. Okay. Oh dear. Someone's left a trap out for us. Okay, we've got a trap. Let's disarm it. Okay.
Any other traps? Blackmailer. Hmm. Quite the pickle she got herself into. No one back home will ever believe this. Moving ahead. Right. It's a quick save. And we're going to have to go there because we're running out of time. Let me know your thoughts, opinions of the game in the comments. Uh, feel free to give me any tips, that sort of stuff, without story spoilers, as always. And uh, if you haven't already, please do consider subscribing if you're enjoying the content. Hit that like button and check out the membership options, especially if you want to get early access to these videos. Pretty much uh, a day, within a day of me recording them, and I usually record two of each game back to back uh, a night. So if you want early access to those videos, you can do that by uh, subscribing to a membership within YouTube. Um, otherwise, they'll be free uh, during the week when they get released, one at a time. And um, say hi in the comments. Let me know what games you're watching, uh, including this one. And um, I read all the comments and I answer them all as soon as I possibly can. Hopefully you've enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching and I will catch you in the next one.